Thousands of protesters marched the streets of Indian capital, accusing government of failing to check inflation and adopting anti-labor policies. Members of eight major trade unions and National Federation of Workers held a massive rally against government policies on soaring prices, unemployment, labor laws, disinvestment and number of related issues. It is the biggest, biggest ever held demonstration and rally of the workers unitedly in Delhi. The protesters were demanding a curb on prices from measures like a universal public distribution system and strict enforcement of labor laws. It is essentially a struggle of the trade unions against the government's economic policy, against price rise, against disinvestment, against violation of labor laws, against retrenchment, against unemployment and policy of liberalization of the government of the country. They were also demanding that profit-making public sector companies should not be privatized for meeting budgetary deficit. We are uh, opposed of uh, this uh, privatization of the banking and uh, uh, outsourcing. Our bank's demand is uh, for the, to improve the uh, service condition of the bank employees. No assurance we wanted. We are not going to meet the Prime Minister because he does not keep his word. We are going to meet the Speaker and submit a memorandum to the Speaker to Lok Sabha. The rally witnessed the participation of set of unions. The protesters demanded change in what they call don't care attitude of the United Progressive Alliance government. New Delhi has witnessed several similar rallies since last year, having rocked the capital city and plunged it into its worst political crisis. Trade union activists say that demands are legitimate and that government's open market economy had benefited corporates to become richer at the cost of labor force. They further vow to continue their fight till the government relent. Munawar Zaman, Press TV, New Delhi.